My body holds a shape. This exhibition takes the I, our physical self, as a metaphor. It looks at our own measures, how we explore the expansion of our own limits and frameworks. Housed in the F Hall of Dai Guan, a former printing house built in 1930s, and later used as a women's prison, artists in the exhibition contemplate of how existing constraints can be used as artistic materials rather than objects of antagonism. The exhibition experiments with the concept of sculpture, first taking the form of the human body, present in the exhibition every hour. Zhu is the newly commissioned durational performance by Filipino artist Elsa Hoxson. To the sculpture on the architecture itself. A site-specific installation by Georgian artist Sia Georgiasi, and to the intangible stories such as distance, volumes, and movement carried in the works of artists Tab Chen, Jason Dodge, Pachaya Pinton. In the year of COVID-19. The exhibition was adjusted to be live and responsive to the day-to-day -day change and social distancing. In the space, we see artist Isa Hoxson and her collaborators performing online from studios in Malina every day, and two performers from Hong Kong are in the space, embodying the. School on site. Isa Hoxson is a choreographer, dancer, and visual artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her work looks mm -hmm. at the Philippines' mm -hmm. body mm -hmm. in the service、mm -hmm. and entertainment industry.、Mm -hmm. This new work, Zoo, is the third part of her Happy Land series. It continues her research on labor and fantasy production. With this work, the artist first looked at how Filipino dancers who perform animal characters in theme parks such as Disneyland. This research. Lead her into look at the animal behaviors in zoos. The work was initially planned to be performed by the artist herself on site. As COVID-19 hit the world, borders are closed, and quarantine life became a global experience. The artist was in house quarantine from the beginning of the year till the end of the exhibition. Hoxham absorbed the new experience into her creation. The score is built by the study of animal in zoos and human in confinement. As we look at Hoxham framed on the two-dimensional flat screen, on the opposite side. A cut on the wall that reveals a view for this room. This is a new installation by Sia Georgiasi. This site-specific work looks at the enclosure of this new gallery space and its history as a former women's prison. The work, titled "Pull Her Away, Pull," inserts a view and brings a new aura to the space, as it casts light and shadow from morning to dawn.
Hong Kong artist Tab Chen's practice is rooted in her long struggle with insomnia. She creates works with uncanny yet ubiquitous materials. Duality and symmetry are often seen in Chen's work, echoing the two realities: dreams and wakefulness, the real and the fantastical. This site-specific kinetic sculpture, "Speed of Night," inserted at the two corners of the space, rotating at the speed of light, as the artist quote. Hypnotically waiting endlessly for a dream. Thai artist Pachaya Pintong's practice explores how matter, situations, systems, and economies could be fluid and mutable. The sculpture fork is made from dismantled bombs from farmlands of Laos. During the Vietnam War, more than two million tons of cluster bombs were dropped on Laos, and an estimated 30 percent did not detonate. The same material is used to make screws for installing and supporting other artworks in the exhibition. This is a key premise of the exhibition. No walls or structure are built to support the artworks. There is an interdependency and autonomy linked to all works.